Let's finish tearing this thing down. Next is to take the front bell off here, the front end. Now I haven't loosened this thing up yet. <clears throat> I don't know if my little razor blade trick's gonna work on that or not. I'll probably just wait till I get this thing off to mess with that. Again, this is another one of those gaskets that I'm certain is gonna be destroyed here. Heck, this thing may not even want to come apart. I may have to put it in my work mate and twist it, and break that mechanical bond that it's got there. A lot of surface area there. <coughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I'm gonna have to go clamp this in my work mate in the wood jaws and just kind of give this thing a twist. Okay, that's what it took. A little heat. A little clamping in the wood work mate and we're apart. Wow, that's pretty pretty ugly in there. It's quite ugly in there. A lot of cleaning to do here. Now, since this thing is still warm, I can probably go out, set this on my workmate, and just drive that out with a mallet. Let's go do that. Okay, we got some pretty disgusting stuff here. Managed to get <coughs> crankshaft out of this front housing. Look at this. Holy crap. I mean, just look at this front bearing. That's what the front bearing looked like. Now obviously there was this C-clip in here that retained it that I had to pull out first, but I mean, geez, look at the front of this housing. That's just, that's just freaking nasty. So obviously without, without a doubt, those bearings need to be replaced. Just pull my gearbox out of the LA's totally awesome cleaner. I want to see if I made any headway with this flower yet. Yeah, it's moving. So I can get this gear out now. Push this flower out the rest of the way. Going there. The other thing that's nice about that LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner is it does a real good job on cleaning off gaskets. <laughs> so, now what I need to do is totally get that stuff out of there. Spray this down real good with some alcohol. Side of this up as much as I can. So I can feel that bearing moving at all. Bearing doesn't look bad. spray this down with some more alcohol and blow it out real good eventually and we drop this gear in the LA's totally awesome planner for one bit let me take this car body out it doesn't look like that freed crap up so much of 
garbage in these springs. I'm going to have to completely disassemble this carb. For now, I'm going to oil the hell out of it. I'm just going to drench the whole outer body with oil. And that's how I'm going to leave that for now because I don't think I'm going to mess with that tonight. That's really nasty. That's going in the totally awesome cleaner for a couple of minutes. So is the C ring. These bearings are going to go straight into the freaking garbage because they're gross. This. Man. That's going in the totally awesome cleaner for a few minutes too. Now what I'm going to have to do with this, so I'll probably just soak this whole thing in totally awesome cleaner. Try and get most of this stuff off and then just uh, take it outside and put it on a piece of wood. Use a nut driver. Sandwich it right in there and hold it with this thumb and then just tap. Rotate and tap, rotate and tap and that will bring that bearing off there fairly easily. And then I can clean this crankshaft up. Man, it's got a, it looks like it's been years since this thing has been run. That bearing rotated. That's about all it does. This thing is a whole other story here. Let's see if we can finagle this piston out real quick. Okay, there we go. Indian pistons have a nice F carved in the front for front. As suspected, that ring is completely compressed. That whole thing is going in totally awesome cleaner too. Now this, this is going to be a chore because there's a lot of build up on that. And I believe this thing should just tap right out. And it does. Take a bath. Luckily that bearing doesn't feel too bad. Actually it feels really good. I'll probably get by without replacing that one. Just keep oiling it and clean this whole area up. I gotta do a lot of internal cleaning in here, but uh, anyway, that's the first look inside of this India 90 engine. And, uh, get some parts on order and get this thing put back together. Okay, I'm trying to remember why I left off on this thing and it looked like I left off with the bearings still on that nasty looking crankshaft. Well, I've done a lot of things to this engine. Unfortunately, I didn't videotape much of it. But as you can see, it's completely disassembled in my, pin, my bin here. Everything has been cleaned up. So I know you recall looking at the inside of this crankcase. And it was horrible looking. It's all nice and clean now. All of this stuff is basically ready for reassembly. Unfortunately, I'm waiting on parts. Here's the front housing. All nice and clean. I've got parts on order, gaskets, that type of thing. Here's my timing case. My timing gears. That bearing doesn't need to be replaced. Nor did that bearing inside the, in here, this bearing is fine also. So, the head, I did drop the valves. The head's all nice and cleaned up. Looks beautiful now, looks almost brand new. I did drop the valves. There wasn't nearly as much carbon buildup on the exhaust valve as I thought. Now this piston gave me quite a bit of issue. The, uh ring was completely compressed in there and it took quite a bit of heating and cooling and stuff like that to get that undone so I could actually remove that and clean the groove so now this piston is pristine and ready to go also uh, here's my crankshaft now all cleaned up ready to accept a new set of bearings once they come in this timing shaft Everything, like I said, is pretty much ready to go. I'm just in a mode of waiting for uh, replacement bearings and gaskets and that type of thing to come in. So 
that's where we stand with this reassembly right now. Uh, obviously I'll make some more videos as I put it together when the parts come in, but uh, that's where we stand for right now on this engine.